What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team. We got ourselves an unburdened Sneasler team that should be very, very strong, and you guys should be able to use it to push high ranks in the Master Tier. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, what are you doing if you're not subscribed to the channel? Get on top of that. Get on top of that. But this team also features very cool Pokemon for Regulation D. Cresselia, Gudra, Urshfu, Heatran, Lillaboom, and like I already mentioned, Sneasler. All these Pokemon were released in Regulation D, and somebody made a team, merged them all together, and this team is phenomenal. Used it on the casual ladder, only for one match, and absolutely ripped into it with the Sneasler. So, hope I can do the same for you guys on that rank ladder. But... Urshfu is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview with the Unseen Fist as its ability and the Choice Scarf as its item. It's got certain strikes, you turn close combat Aqua Jet. Really can't go wrong with this Pokemon, arguably the best Pokemon for this regulation. Hisumian Gudra is going to be our second Pokemon, and I love this Pokemon, especially when you can set him up defensively. It's got shell armor, so it cannot take critical hits. It's got leftover for HP recovery, body press, shelter for defense boost, protect, and heavy slam. This moveset is incredible. Really can't go wrong with this Gudra once you get it set up. In our third slot is Heatran. Heatran is one of those Pokemon that are all around solid. All of its stats are solid, its typing solid, its movesets are solid. You can't go wrong with them on any team. It's got Flash Fire, the Safety Goggles as item, Earth Power, Heat Wave, Protect, and Flash Cannon. In our fourth slot, we got Sneasler, the brand new Weavile form from Legends Arceus. And this Pokemon is actually amazing. I love its typing with the poison and fighting, plus its moveset and its stats are awesome. It's got Unburdened, the Grassy Seed as its item to pair up with that Rillaboom's Grassy Surge, and it's got Dire Call, Close Combat, Acrobatics, and Taunt. In our fifth slot is the Rillaboom that's going to be Sneasler's best friend to help it pop that Unburdened and Grassy Seed. It's got Grassy Surge and the Assault Vest as its item, Fake Out for Flinches, Drum Beating for Big Time Damage, U-Turn, and Knock Off. In the final position is going to be Cresselia, a nice little trick room Pokemon that merges team all together, especially if we're going up against like Tailwind Tornadus or a team that has complete speed control over us, we can take some by popping trick room with this Pokemon. It's got Levitate, the Mental Herb, Helping Hand, Psychic, and Lunar Blessing. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Sneasler Regulation D team. First match is here, and we're going up against a Hisuian Arcanine team, so I gotta watch out for those Intimidates. My physical attackers might want to watch out for that. They also have Urshifu, they got Iron Hands, they got Fluttermane, Hisuian Gudra, just like us, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Amoongus. So I could go into Gudra, because Gudra's not going to be bad here, considering all of its moves are based off something, like Body Press is based on my defense, Heavy Slam's just based on weight. So going into him and taking an Intimidate is not a bad call for me. So I'm thinking of going into that and rocking out with that Pokemon. I really do like it because I could probably set up Shelter and really start thriving from there. I could also go in with Heatran. I don't mind Heatran. I mean, the Steel typing is going to be pretty solid. Got to watch out for the Fake Outs at the same time. But I think other than that, we could be fine. I could go into you and just maybe you turn out. Fake Out if need be and then you turn. That's not a bad play. And then bring Sneasel in the back end alongside our Choice Scarf Urshfu. I think that's your best bet. So I'm going to do that. I think they are going to lead the Hisuian Arcanine. So kind of want to play up against that. But let's look to grab ourselves some win here and get things started off hot here for today's video. But I really wonder who they're going to lead. It's got to be Arcanine, right? If not, I mean, Iron Hands to come out here. Flutter main. I would not mind if Iron Hands comes out here. Considering we do have the Ridley Rillaboom. So I can just fake him out on that slot. We can do a lot from there. But let's see who they end up going into. It is going to be da -da -da, the Arcanine. Like I said, so the Arcanine comes out here. I could Heavy Slam right into the... Uh, I could Heavy Slam right into the... What's it called? The Fluttermane. But I think Fluttermane might just protect. I might just Shelter Pop. I think I'm just going to Shelter Pop here. And maybe just go into a Fake Out here. Get off a free turn. I think I'm about it because I think Fluttermane either protects, swaps, terrestrializes, but for the most part, its terror type is probably fairy. And it stays. It's chilling here. Wow, I could just heavy slam into it. Kind of hurt that I didn't do that. He goes for a moon blast. I'm really hurt that I didn't do that because now I shelter. I can protect next turn if I want to. And we'll see how this one plays. Cause that's tough. That's real tough. So I might just moon blast into me again. Do I make that read? Do I make that read that he moon blasts into me here? So I'm thinking of just hard swapping into Urshifu. Because if I heavy slam, they're going to double down into me. 
I'm gonna go into this and I'm gonna hard swap. Actually, I might just hard swap into Sneasler. Sneasler at that point would be faster than Fluttermane. And really get some damage going. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Urshfu. I do I think they go for another Moonblast into the into that slot. I really do. I think a Moonblast comes across in the in the Gudra. Oh, they end up withdrawing Fluttermane. That's totally fine for us. So I get to take off Intimidate, I get the fake out later, and I think the Flutter was gonna come into the slot. So they're gonna bring out a fake out user. That's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that too much. I have a defense boost on Gudra. I can just uh, protect Urshfu, or I can just hard swap Urshfu into somebody else if they're gonna fake me out. I could swap them. Cause I'm going straight into you, and I think a Flutter was gonna pop into this slot. So I'm gonna protect. That was just in case the Flutter main was still here, but the Flutter main is not. And he goes into the Flutter in the slot, which he should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah, and we'll get some HP back. So. Chances are he's faking me out here. Um, I could stay in if I want to. I could definitely stay in if I want to. But do I want to? Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm shelter boosted. I could shelter up again, but I think starting to attack is going to be more so our player. So I kind of just want to start throwing body presses, especially into that slot. So I'm going to body press into that slot. I am going to go... Hmm. I kind of want to swap. I kind of want to swap back into you. I'm gonna attack just in case. I mean, we're pretty fine on attack stats, so I'm gonna choice it to my surgeon strikes here. I think he's gonna fake me out. If he fakes me out, he fakes me out. Again, it's not that big of a deal. But I still have Rillaboom and I still have Sneasel in the back end, so that's gonna be really good for popping the grassy seed, especially late game. We'll see who they wanna go into. They're just gonna end up with Drawn Arcanine. Are you going into Fluttermane? There's no shot you're going back into Fluttermane. You are gonna go back into Fluttermane? It's a great swap. That's a lovely swap. He's gonna fake out my Urshfu and this turn just becomes neutral. So it's a neutral turn here. Um my Urshfu does outspeed everybody. I don't think they know that we're truly scarf, which is really, really good. So I should be able to just outspeed the flutter main, get rid of that with surgeon strikes, and kinda get it for a match that way. But look at my boy, almost back up to full HP with a plus two defense boost. I really do like that. So from here, um I might just shelter again. I think this is gonna be free. I am going to shelter again. I am going to get that plus four on the defensive side. We can't be crit it. They do have Arcanine. They have Iron Hands chilling here. Fluttermain could protect, but we would hit through. Surgeon Strike should be able to KO. I think it should be able to. I'm really hoping it does. Yeah, it is going to be able to KO. So Surgeon Strike's very, very OP. Very good at taking out Fluttermains, especially with the Chewy Scarf. Loud need to outspeed, so that's a that's a good start for us to pick up the first KO there. So he's probably going to KO my Urshfu. I'm kind of fine with that at this point, because my Gujar is setting up here. And I saw a shelter boost. We get in after it with a shelter boost. And we'll go from here. He's just gonna drain punch me, which I'm soaking all day. And with the grassy terrain, it's just so big. Because we get the grass terrain HP, and then we get leftovers HP. So it's just two sets of like eight HP boosting us up. And then I can protect and do it all over again. So we get back a decent amount of HP. I still have my boy chilling here. My Urshifu, and he's gonna bring out his Urshifu. So crits are going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't really want to protect. I kind of want to just double down into his Urshfu. Probably my best bet. I am choosing certain strikes, but yeah, definitely my best bet is just double down into his Urshfu. Because he could probably KO me. I'm not even going to. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Critical hits do me dirty. They do me dirty. Actually, I can't be critted. I, I have shell armor. I have shell armor. I have shell armor. That's why Gooch is so good. You just set up the defense boost. And his whole team is going to be physical attacking, which is great. So I could have protected, but I'm just going to go straight after him. So, our opponent's going to end up Terrasalize. I'll probably go straight water here, right? No, you're going to go into that. I thought you were going to Terrasalize first. Okay. You're going to go into straight Thunder here. Thunder, Electric, whatever you want to call it. And we're just hoping he's not protecting the Urshfu, right? That's really my one hope. And he's not. Cool. So we're going to be able to chunk up a little bit of damage. I double down into it. Probably should have just sent that into the... Into the Iron Hand slot. But we'll deal with it as time comes. We shall deal with it. So we hit three times. Body press can do some nice damage. Brick breaks can come out here. We're able to soak, no problem. I'm plus four. Now body press flies the KO. Almost does. It almost does. And Thunder Punch is gonna KO me. That's fine. So the KO's my Urshfu. I think we're still thriving here. And I think I could just bring out my uh, what's going on? I could just bring out my real boom, fake out his iron hands, get off another shelter if I want to. I could definitely do that. <laughs> I could definitely do that. But I don't know how many turns left in terrain. And it's kind of annoying me. 
Okay, it's over. So now we gotta bring it back out. So Rillaboom is gonna be the perfect Pokemon. So we'll have Sneasel in the back end with that lovely, uh, with that lovely Unburden. We'll probably have Grace train for the rest of the battle. This is such a good match right here. Such a good match. So from here, we want to just start, I would say, ripping into you. I could fake out the Earth if I want to. But I'm going to hit you. I am... Actually, we're going to do this. I'm going to body press get rid of you. And I'm going to fake out the other one. I don't see Urshfu doing that much damage. I mean, close combat, brick break. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get hit rid of him with that. And I'm just going to fake out you. If he ends up detecting, that's totally fine. That's why I want to fake out the, the Iron Hands here as well. Fake out's going to pop here. We're just going to make it flinch. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to get back some nice HP again. Grassy terrain, all that good stuff. Um, hmm. And now from here. What do I do? What's the play here? What's the play here? Body press into Urshfu, correct? Yeah. And then go for a drum beating into Iron Hands. Considering we have that terrain, we can boost that damage. I wouldn't do that. So we're looking to do as much damage as I possibly can. He could be vested, but I do have physical attackers in the back end, so I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to go for a drum beating into that. He's going to end up withdrawing Urshfu for an Intimidate. The Intimidate's going to come out here. We'll probably KO this Arcanine, considering this body press is going to be super effective. So I don't, I, don't, I don't really mind this. I really don't mind this too much. I don't mind this. Drum beating's going to fly here. How much damage have we got? We got Terrain, Stab. Probably not nothing crazy. Yeah, because I was going to say this thing is ridiculously in bulk. But we'll get a speed jump on that thing. So body press now flies. KO's Arcanine. We KO the Arcanine. And he's probably going into a drain punch into my Gudra. So Gudra's chilling here. Soaking that up all day. We'll get some HP back. Um, I could shelter up again if I want to. I just might. I just might shelter here. I think I am going to shelter go plus six. Gudra's getting some nice level HP back. I think I'll shelter and I'll get rid of the Urshifu. And we'll just play it. We'll just play it slow. But I, I need to get rid of Urshfu. He's got to go. I'm hoping it doesn't protect, right? I don't think it should. But I think our play is just to shelter up, get that plus six. And then maybe just U turn KO. Will U turn KO? Probably not. I still have Terra, too. I do still have Terra. But I'm just going to take out the Urshfu. It detected. Man, dude, got knocked us off. I'm going plus six, which is great for me. It's great for me. I am going plus six. He's probably looking to do some more damage on my Gudra. Which is very, it's just scaring me, man. I do get off plus six before he goes, though, which is huge. I'm going to be able to soak up his Drain Punch even more. But EQ's going to fly. He's going to go for an EQ. I'm cool with an EQ. It's doing less damage than a Drain Punch. <laughs> I did like five, and it's in the terrain. A lot of people forget that the grassy terrain neglects uh, moves like EQ and Earth Power and... What's the other one? Like Stomping Tantrum? It makes him do less damage. He like half some. Look at this. Look at this. We're getting back a ton of HP from here. Um, I really want to get out Sneasler. I really want to get out Sneasler. So you know what? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go for the U-turn and I'm going to get out Sneasler here. Just so I can pop the, the, the Unburden and all that stuff. Get my boost and all that. But we should be thriving here, right? This is just a long drawn out battle that we played really, really good. I saw early on, I was just like, Guja's going to be a nice Pokemon, especially if they lead Arcanine, to set up. And once I got off that first shelter and they brought a bunch of defense up, uh, or physical attacking Pokemon, I was like, okay, we can really get after this. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So once I set up the shelter, I was just like, dude, I'm set up. I saw the rest of his team, I was like, oh, good game. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. We're defensive both. Everybody knows Guja's an absolute menace if you don't have special attackers to take him out. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So Gudra's going to go next here. We pop those uh, grassy seeds to get a defense boost, which is lovely up against these guys. Body press going to KO the Urshfu. And this one's wraps. I mean, it's pretty much wraps. I think he goes after Gudra with a Drain Punch, right? Now you're going to go after Sneasel. That's fine. That's fine. Now I'm sitting here. Now body presses are going to be flying. We're plus six. Body press can do as much damage as it possibly can. And I guess Sneasler can just do Sneasler things, right? Dire Claws. I'm thinking Dire Claws maybe try to get like a poison on this thing, right? 
This thing's just gonna be annoying. I hope they just cancel out of here. But Body Press is gonna fly for us. Dire Claw is probably the play. I still have Terra too. But Terra and a Flying, probably not, right? I think I just save Terra for Rillaboom if need be. It's grass, it could do more damage. We're just gonna go for Dire Claw here. So let's see what our opponent wants to do. They're gonna stay in here, Dire Claw. We're looking for a status condition. And we don't get one. Body Press is going to fly here. And wow, Body Press is killing it. EQ is probably going to KO Sneasler. Oh, no, it doesn't. But yeah, we're thriving here. It is game, set, match. Everything worked out perfectly. The terrain and leftovers with Gudra's defensive boost. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. And then I kept Sneasler for so long. And everybody knows Sneasler in the terrain with Unburden is phenomenal. So to have this Pokemon in the back end, which is perfect for us, but a nice long drawn out battle. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. We're going to body press. We're going to die claw. They probably cancel battle here. Yep. And there it is. 1-0 to get things started. Second match on its way. And I'm so happy that the first match was on recording. Just a really solid battle. Went the distance. Always a good battle when you go that long. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that one. But we're hopping into our second one. And we're going up against a fairly similar team. We both have Urshfu. We both have Rillaboom. We both have Heatran. But they have Thunderous. Landorus in its other form and then Fluttermane. So how should we play this one? How should we go into it? Um, Heatran is going to be a little bit of an issue. It's kind of annoying up against a few of these guys, but I'm thinking of maybe going like Sneasler and Rillaboom just to get things started here. I don't think that's a bad call for us. I kind of really like it and then bring Urshfu and maybe Heatran of my own in the back end. Do I want to bring Heatran of my own or would I rather bring a bulky Gujra like last battle? So Heatran is going to be nice up against a few of these guys. I mean, don't do we have Earth Power? I think we do. So that can kind of deal with the... Yeah, that can deal with their Heatran, which is really, really good. I like Heatran here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Heatran. We do have Grass Terra, so we can rip into... Uh, or we can uh, outbulk some water moves from Urshfu. But I think we're going to be fine here. I think we're going to be fine. Flutter Main's always annoying. Heatran can counter that. Um, what else we got to deal with? Landorus. I mean, Urshfu's there. Thunderous going to be a little bit of a problem because I think it's going to be support with Prankster. And there's nothing we can really do about that. We just gotta like deal with what we have and then kind of get after it that way. I could taunt it with Sneasler. I do have taunt with Sneasler, which is actually a power move. That could be a power move. You know, Sneasler's where it's at. I really like Sneasler. Uh, let's go back to back here. I would love to hop into the third and final match and just be already in the winning record position, right? It's always a good feeling going 2 0 in the first two. Let's see who they end up leading. It's gonna be Thundo and Rilla. So Thundo and Rilla is gonna come out here. Um. I think I might just taunt that, that Thundo. That's definitely going to be Prankster. I mean, he can fake me out. Um, I'm going to try to fake him out beforehand. But I'm going to get that lovely defense boost and unburden pop. That's going to be big time for us. And again, I just think going into a taunt here is my play. So I'm going to taunt him. Um, I do want to see your speed real boom. You're definitely not maxed out on speed, right? Your HP attack. But hopefully he's HP attack. And we can get off this fake out. Because I'm going to go for the fake out here. I'm gonna try to pop it in them. But I, I do believe that this this uh this thunderous is is prankster, right? I, I believe it's a support. A lot of the thunders are prankster. Usually if they're not prankster, they're in their other form. But for the most part, these ones are ready to just like paralyze me, do some other things, all that good stuff. So we'll see. Fake out's gonna roll out for me. Cool, we get off that flinch onto him. And he's gonna go for that thunder wave. Beautiful. So my, my sneezer dodge it, and now I can taunt him. So that's actually really, really solid start for us. So now I taunted him. I could hard swap. Well, not hard swap. I could U-turn pivot, which wouldn't be a bad play. Are you mental herb? Come on, man. What, what is that about? That ain't cool. That's not right. That's not right one bit. Do I taunt it again? Do I just dire claw? I'm thinking just dire claw. I'm trying to get rid of you. Hmm. Definitely want Dire Claw. I definitely want to taunt. I'm going to taunt. I just don't feel like dealing with the Paralyze. I'll U-turn out here. That hurts, man. Good old Mental Herb. Doing me dirty. I was feeling real good about that. I was like, oh, nice little taunt. We dodged the Paralyze. Everything's looking gorgeous. It's looking lovely. And then bam, mental herb, doing me dirty. So he goes for Thunder Wave again. He's gonna paralyze me. If I miss this turn being paralyzed, that's gonna be very upsetting because I double down with the taunt. If I do that, I get off my taunt finally. I'm sick of this thing. I'm done with that prankster. I'm still out speeding, which is awesome. And he's gonna U-turn me before I U-turn him. So it was a speed tie that we won. 
So I think he was faking me out, and I was faking him out, but it was definitely a speed tie. Unless he wasn't trying to do that turn one. I just got off to fake out. So he U-turns out, I'm going to U-turn out here. Um, my sneaks are still going to be rather fast, right? With Unburden. We'll see if he wants to go into it. It's good that actually he gets he U-turned out first, because I get to get a read on who he brings out. He's going to bring out Heatran. And this is where I bring out Urshifu. I pose that... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pose the threat of, hey, I got this water move. I can KO you right now. And that's going to force him to Terrasalize into Grass, which then I am going to go for a Dire Claw with Sneasler into that slot. And then have Urshifu go after Thunderous. I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds a little, a little crazy, but... I believe he Terrasalizes here, right? I think I can make that call. And then I can just drop Surge Strikes in this slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm making this hard read all day. like to have fun with it. If, if not, we, we just overthink things. But this seems like it's got to be happening, right? He's got to Terrasalize Heatra. Or hard swap it. You hard swap that. Okay. Who are you going into from here? Probably back in the Robin. What are you doing here? Bring back out Robin. Are you Terrasalizing Heatran? It's all that coming all day. Okay, so he ends up hard swapping back into Robin. This should be Grass Terror. It is lovely. It is beautiful that we read that. And now Dire Claw can actually hit this thing. It's a great read from us. Beautiful, lovely read from us. It was a beautiful read from us. So Surge Strikes is going to fly. I got to hope that this Dire Claw can actually KO Heatran. It might not be able to because Surge Strikes is rough. It's a rough one. I could hard swap back into my Robin. That could be good too. We'll see what they want to do. Dire Claw is going to fly through here. We make a great call there. Do we get a status condition? This thing's rocking a berry. So he berries up here. Um, hmm. And he and he waves him fly here. Okay. I see. I see. This is such a good match. So I can hard swap back to my robe if I want to. Another Dire Claw should be able to finish you off. So I'm going to do that. Um... Could go into Heatran on my own. It's not a bad call, especially with the typing we have. Yeah, just in case he wants to go into a Heat Wave, we gotta go into this thing. We're gonna hard swap. We're gonna reset our choice graph. This is such a good match. We're playing some good matches on the rank ladder today. Even though no Pokemon died yet, this is just a lovely match all around. But that was such a good read for me. Put that Dire Claw into that slot. I was just hoping that uh, Thunderous was not swapping because certain strikes could have did a lot more damage than it did. So I hard swap in my Heat Train. He is going to fake out my Sneasler and probably KO it with a Heat Wave. Maybe we dodge it. That'd be big time. Do we dodge it? Flash Fire is going to come out here though. And no, we don't dodge it. So I could go for a Heat Wave to take out. To take out. What's it called? To take out Roll Boom. That could be the play. I could bring back out my Roll Boom, which could be the play too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring out Robin. So I bring out really, um... What I'm thinking of doing is he's probably gonna try to U-turn. He's gonna U-turn, he's gonna try to Heat Wave. I can't fly, uh, hit him with a Fire Man. This Heat Train. Um... I might Terrasalize my own Heat Train. And just fake out him. I think he, he might even hard swap here. I'm gonna Terrasalize my Heatran. I know he's Flash Fire, but I think he goes for an Earth Power in the slot. And he ends up hard swapping. Wow. So back into Thunder. Thunder coming out here. Yep, Thunder comes back out here. This is, this is such a good match, man. Our opponent's playing so good. Our opponent's playing so good. But I know Flash Fire's gonna come out here. Um. I think we're doing the same thing. I should have faked out the heat train. Maybe he's going for an earth power. That's what I'm kind of hoping. He goes for an earth power into the slot. So we end up faking out that slot. He does go for the earth power. So our terror was perfect there too. Big time terror from us. Heat wave's going to come out of here. Flash fire's going to block. That's why heat train's so good with this terror type. And now heat wave flies there. Okay, so from here... He can definitely thunder wave me, do all that stuff. Um, I'm thinking of just U-turn pivoting. 
Maybe double down in the heat train. You turn out from here. And I kind of just want to fly. I really want to double down into this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to double down into heat train. So we'll see what he wants to do. He might thunder wave my heat train just to get off of turn before. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's a good one. Eerie imp Oh, you eerie impulse in me. This thing. So good. It's so good. So my special attack is going to drop partially. He's going to flash cannon me. I think my real boom should be able to soak that. You do. Cool. How much damage are we doing with U-turn? Big time damage. Can we KO with flash cannon? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. So I'm heading out here. I gotta go back to my Urshi. I think I might swap my Heatran. I think if Heatran can KO here, that could be big. Because then I can swap back into Rillaboom. Come on, Heatran. KO here. Oh. Oh. That's real ugly. That's real ugly. Um. Hmm. It's gonna paralyze me. So Aqua Jet. Could Aqua Jet just finish this thing off? Uh. Actually, we gotta attack him just in case he's going for an electric move. I'm gonna attack you. And I'm just gonna go stick with the flash cannon into the heat train slot. He might be going for like a wild bolt storm, and I'm I'm not I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I have to get rid of him. So I'm gonna go for the, the speed move into him. If he wants to paralyze me, he can paralyze me. Cool, fine. I'll swap heat train next turn. But he does end up just paralyzing me, that's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever. As long as as long as the paralyze doesn't be OP. So cool. Surgeon Strike's gonna finish this thing off. Oh my lord, it's such a good match. Such a good match. I wonder what their heat train's going for. Maybe we KO it here. We'll see what it's going for. It's probably going for just like I doubt it has oh, it's going for heat wave, that's fine. So heat waves I flash fire. And I'm wow, taking a lot of damage because of flash fire. Flash Cannon now flies. I think we have to hard swap my Heat Train, save it for later purposes, right? Because it's it's in the dumpster with B minus two. So if I could swap it for Real Boom, I wish I had Protect ready to go. I wish I had Detect, but I'm Choice. So he's just gonna fake me out. Wow, dude, the matches today are awesome, yo. I've been recording for 30 minutes, so you guys probably been watching for about 25 minutes, and we only have two battles done. We're not even done our second match. We're not even done the second match. So, oh wow, wait. Where's your... How many Pokemon are on the field? I only saw one come in. Wait a minute. Am I missing something? Rillaboom's here. Who's out on the field? Oh, you're out on the field. I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. So, Amir, we are going to pop Surgeon Strikes. He's definitely going to fake me out and take me out. I got to swap into Rillaboom. I need, my, I need my special attack back. I need my special attack. I need it more than ever. So I'm going to go into my roll boom. I think both these guys might die. He ends up just outspeeding me. And I had a paralyzed doing me a little rough. And can you eat up whatever he's going to throw at you? You turn? No, you can't. Okay, so now we're sitting here. Sludge Bomb does me so dirty. I don't think we eat up Sludge Bomb. That's the problem. That, that, th that, uh, that lander is coming in the back end is so good. It has... Uh, Huge power, I think, or it has uh, sheer force. That's what it has ability, making it do crazy damage. So from here, heat waves obviously are play, but yeah, sludge bomb I think just KOs us. Unless you could soak it up, but thing is, I don't think you're KOing that that Lando in one shot. But what a solid match here, really, really good. We're gonna go one and one. Maybe I shouldn't have swapped. Maybe I should just stayed in with Heatran. That sludge bomb is probably meant for Heatran. The sludge bomb comes out here. Yeah, it KOs me. I'm a goner. I'm a goner. So, GG Sword Pony here. Maybe I should have just stayed in there with Heatran, popped the Heat Wave. It probably could have KO'd Rillaboom. And it kind of went from there. Or, like, Urshifu could have taken out the Landers and I could have had a 1v1. But, hey, that's GG's. Final match is here. We are 1-1. One one. Had a great set of battles so far. But we're going up against a Gujar team with Grim Snarl alongside with Cresselia, Overquill, Annihilate, and Tinkaton. So... Huh. Annihilate's a problem. It's always a problem. I like the grassy terrain kind of combo with Sneasler and Roboom, so I think I am going to lead it. We could fake out. I mean, they do have screens, which is kind of annoying. I think my Shelter Guja could be solid. As back end, his typing is really, really well. Plus, they have a few physical attackers. So I'm going to go into that. And then I just think Urshfu's to call here. 
Urshi Urshi, Urshi it's got to be the call. It's just so strong. Has a lot of different viable moves, so I am going to go into it. We'll see what they want to do here. We shall see. But again, yo, long drawn out battle so far. Two battles in play. We're one and one. I, I love how we're playing today. I really do. Our opponent outplayed us a tad bit in the second one, but we were we were right there with them. We were right there with our opponent. At these high mastery battles, doing awesome with it. Overkill and Guja's gonna come out here. Love the typing. Um, might just you turn out or just fake out the overkill. Oh, intimidate. Oh, oh, I forgot overkill gets that. I forgot you get that overkill. I really did forget you get that. So I'm thinking of just close combating into the Guja slot. I think I gotta do as much damage as I can. I could you turn out. But I think I might just fake out the overkill. I'm gonna close combat you. Actually, why wouldn't we just taunt it? Why wouldn't we just taunt this little bugger? Yeah, I'm gonna taunt that and I'm just gonna fake out this overkill. Yeah, why wouldn't I just taunt this thing? So he's just gonna terrestrialize probably the overkill, right? No, who's just gonna get the terror? He's gonna go into straight ghost. So good thing I did not go into that close combat. That could have been real bad. That could have been real bad. It could have been devastatingly bad. Fake out's gonna come out here. Right into the overquill. We'll flinch that and we will taunt up on this thing. Not letting it set up the shelters. I'm not dealing with it. I'm just simply, simply, I'm not dealing with it. So, overquill flinches. Show me ground for shelter. Go for ass armor. Good. That's pretty much the same thing. So, from here, I could just double swap. I could indeed just double swap. I'd rather have Urshifu food in the slot, so I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna double swap. I'd rather you turn out. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, you turn out. Go for a knockoff, actually. Actually, I'm gonna stay in here with Robin. I'm gonna stay in here with Robin. I think knockoff's gonna be lovely. Just get rid of this thing's item. Do some nice damage onto it at the same time. Let's swap an Urshifu here. A bar barrage gonna come out here. We're able to soak, which is beautiful. Knockoff's gonna come out here. Give me your leftovers. Probably. Covert Cloak. Okay. Now he's going to go for the Heavy Slam, which we soak really, really well. So cool. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So, we can soak up another Bar Brush. So, I'm thinking of just you turning out here. Just getting on out of here. And maybe just start popping certain strikes into the Gudra slot. I mean, I can't crit, which is a little bit of a problem, but... Surge Strikes is the best choice move in there. You know, I'm gonna actually dump it into the Overkill slot. And I'm just gonna U-turn out of here. I'll double down Overkill. The Overkill is bulky here too. A little bit of a problem. So we're doing about half, which is gorgeous. Another one will KO this. And I think he just goes for another Bar Barrage. Yeah, which we should be able to soak. Cool. So since I soaked that, that's big time. Ooh, we take a poison. But I'm able to bring back out Robin later and get off another fake out, which is big time. So U-turn's gonna do some nice damage. And oh no, you're figgied? You're getting figgy with it? That's that sucks, man. That really hurts soul there. Got figgy with it. Now I don't think I can KO with another surgeon strikes. Which really hurts. But I can bring back out Sneezer. I could go into I could go into you. I could start sheltering up. But I'm thinking I'm just going back into you. I can't body press into that thing. What do I go into here? I think Sneezer's gonna be a good call. I'm gonna go into Sneezer. I'm gonna look to pull off like a poison or something with a dire claw into that Guja slot. He's gonna end up body pressing me. That's fine. We soak pretty well. And we are gonna get some HP back. So I could double down to Overquill if I want to. I think Overquill might just swap, so I might just double down into Guja. Scootra is shaking off taunt here, so Surgeon Strikes, actually, I'm not gonna taunt it again. We're just gonna double down into it. Surgeon Strikes alongside with the Dire Claw. Could be good, I could Terrasalize, go Acrobatics. I think that's gonna be my play, because we're already unburden popped. I think we just gotta get off some big time damage on this Scootra. Overcool is bulky too, I think it's a problem. I think it's a problem. Heatran would've been nice just to get the ground move going. We can't even play today. So I, I Terrasalize the Sneasler. Certain strikes are gonna fly here. We can't crit, and I just—I I thought it would do more than that. This thing's so bulky. It's embarrassingly bulky. And Acrobat's gonna fly here. 
How much damage are you doing? We're on burn, all that good stuff. We're almost KO, which is good. So it's another Surge Strikes will KO. Bar Barrage gonna fly here. We're able to soak. No poison? No poison. Cool. Body press should be able to soak. Cool. So we're soaking up here a little bit. That's good news. Um, Both my Pokemon do outspeed, so I can decide who I want to go after. And I'm thinking of just Surge Strikes, Overcool, and Acrobatic Shoe, right? That's my best bet. He might protect the Gudra. If he does, he does. It's not that big of a deal. Another Acrobatics will kill next turn. I don't care. I don't care. So certain strikes in the flyer. Bop. Getting some getting some damage. Can we KO? It's kind of close. Nah, we're not gonna be able to KO. Maybe I maybe I should just pop that next turn or the turn before. That could have been good for us. We're trying to get rid of this bulkiness here. Such, dude, such good battles. I'm just hoping I can get Urshfu for one more turn. Just one more turn. One more turn would be big time for us. Big time for us. It'd be lovely. It'd be gorgeous. The Barbarage comes out of King Soak. No poison? Oh, no. Actually, wait a minute. Terrain might save her life. Terrain comes out here first. Terrain might save her life. I think Terrain just saved her life. Terrain, did you save her life? No! Come on, man! The poison, really? Poison really doing me like that? Okay, so I do have Gudra. And now would be a good time to actually set up that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the nice little shelter here. We'll see what they go into. So we're looking for Kuja to clutch up. Crest's gonna come out here. Um Okay, Crest is kind of annoying. Not gonna sit here and lie. But this is where I shelter. And this is where I, I look at acrobatics and just finish off whatever cool, right? Yeah, I mean I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We don't we don't want to leave Overcool on the field here, because then Lunar Blessing come out here, they can start getting some HP back. I'm not too scared of Crest. And Crest is pretty good. You have Robin with knockoff, fake out in the back end, but only for like one turn. It's really, really low on HP. So we're looking for my Guja to really get going here. Same thing with uh Same thing with Sneasler. Sneasler's ripping right here. The big time acrobatics with the unburdened doing good. We don't have the defense boost anymore. But we'll see who they want to go into. They want to go into a Moon Blast here. Which Sneasler soaks pretty well. The Terra type solid here. So we get off our first shelter. That's going to be huge. Hopefully they have a physical attacker in the back end. That Gujar can just outbulk and just start hitting hard. But I might just focus in on that right side and get rid of Cress as we go. It's going to be Annihilate. Ooh. We don't like this guy. We, we, we don't like this guy. We simply don't like this guy. <clears throat> we do not like this guy. They don't have Terra, which is awesome. Um... Let's start heavy slamming. Wait, defense boost again? I think we're going to defense boost and I am just going to start throwing acrobatics in this slot. So Annihilate protects. That's fine. That'll give us another chance to shelter up. We know we can't throw outside. They could have ally switch. I'm looking to get off the shelters here. <clears throat> so they don't have first turn priority either. That's good to know too. And this thing's going to combine boost. Okay. Nothing crazy. Acrobatics might be able to just KO the Annihilate. Just big time. Which would be big time. So shelter coming out here. We're stacking that up. We're stacking up. And from here, I'm gonna heavy slam into you. Actually, I'm gonna double down into Annihilate, knowing that I can't protect. I'll double down into it. I, I kinda need this thing to be gone. So Acrobat's gonna fly here. How much damage does this do? This might KO. I know Annihilate's super bulky. And it does KO. That's that's beautiful. That's lovely. And then from here, if Sneasler gets off another turn, I would love to Dire Claw and try to get like a status condition onto that Cresselia. So Moonblast comes out here. Beautiful Rainbow Soak even through the crit. And yo, Sneasler's ripping here. Sneasler's doing great. The Crest is just a problem. The crest is just a problem. I wonder if Body Press will do more. I know it's not very effective, but defensive boost? We'll give it a try. We might as well give it a try. So we'll go into a Dire Claw, or I could taunt it. I don't want to taunt it. I'm just going to go into Dire Claw. I'm looking to do as much damage as I can. So Dire Claw comes out here. Give me status condition. No status condition? That hurts. That really does hurt. They're getting poisons on their barbarage and all that stuff. It was getting out of hand. It was getting real out of hand. So I'm here body pressing to fly and body press is doing a bit more damage. I can get down with body press. So from here, I get to go in the real boom. So they could protect, let poison do a little bit of damage. I could fake out if I want to. But since we outspeed Cress, I think the simple play is just to go for attacks. So I'm thinking of just going for a body press here, dealing a bit more damage. Actually, let's shelter. Actually, no. Let's go for a body press here. Let's let's full blown double down here. 
I'm gonna body press. And what's gonna do more damage? U turn or knock off? U turn does more damage. So I'm gonna go into U turn. I'm gonna go into U turn. What could it KO this thing? This thing actually outspeeds us, which is wild. That actually hurts the soul here. Could be death of us. U turn's gonna fly here. Doing some nice damage. Body press coming out here. Doing some nice damage. Um, we do get some. Ter oh, the terrain's really helping us here. Poison's gonna chip up. We might get off one more turn here. So from here, I'm gonna body press again. We might Lunar Bless, and I'm going for a U turn. Let's see. Battle was canceled. Wow, they had a shot there. I think they had a shot. But hey, we take that all day. Three amazing battles. We go two and one for a winning record. What a great video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's a longer one, but hey, three amazing battles for you guys. More importantly, we grabbed ourselves a winning record. Sneezler was amazing. Gujar was amazing. Both of them get the MVP crown. You guys let me know in the comment section down below who deserves it more. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.